This is Amy Chan with CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. In this video, we are going to be talking about basket weave or ribbon tips. There's a couple of really popular sizes that we use, and they are number 44, 45, 46, and 895. The ones in the 40s are standard size tips that will work with a standard size coupler in your bag, and the 895 is a larger decorator size tip. So we're gonna show you what the differences in sizes and the openings look like. So a number 44 is a flat line, right, on both sides of the tip. The number 45 is the same thing, just larger. The 46 is flat on one side and has a little comb or ridges on the other. So you have to be careful which side is facing up and which side is this against the surface that you're decorating so that you get the right side and the right effect on your cake. So one side is flat, like the other tips we've been using, and the other side is ridged, which gives it a little textured effect. So you can use this tip and flip it back and forth to create a varied look to your piping. The number 895 is the same. It is flat on one side and has the comb on the other. Right, so this is just a larger size of the same kind of tip. And so these are the most popular sizes of the basket and ribbon weave tip that we use and you might be wondering what exactly we use them for. So, basket weave is generally done on the side of a cake, and I'm gonna use the 45 since it's nice and big, and it'll be easy to see. And it's meant to look like a wicker or woven basket. And I'm just gonna do quick sample of a basket weave right here on the paper. And it's an effect that generally you go all the way around the outside of the cake. And you build one little section at a time. And once you have it marked and your spacing laid out in your first set, you can just keep going all the way around, right? And you can see it gives you a nice woven effect, right? And typically you go all the way around until you meet back up with the beginning, right? You can also use these tips to make ribbons and bows. So there's a few things that you can use them for. They're really versatile and they come in a range of sizes. If you like this video and you'd like to check out more about materials and equipment we use or just about cake decorating, please follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School.